I got about six apprentices here, all good hard workers. Basically lucky enough to be surrounded by uh, about 18 journeymen. We're doing exterior framing and then uh, working on the molding and the ceiling grid here. I did installation of frames too, how metal frames. 20 West uh, is the project name. It's a six-story apartment complex. I actually started going to school, tried to get a degree in computers, but I realized that what was going to be the best for me was getting a trade, you know, and get a stable job. I saw how much it was going to take for me to get a school loan, have to be paid off, and how many years before I can actually start making money and learn. I had just regular jobs before this that weren't going nowhere, so I decided to join this for the great benefits, the career opportunity, and the longevity. I just don't think people uh, realize that the amount of effort and skill that actually does go into the jobs that we do. It's something that more young kids should look into. And I was kind of working some, you know, part-time jobs. My mother had came across a show built to last. As soon as I turned on the show, I got excited because it was my city that they were showing. I was working a part-time job. There was a guy who was, was in a pre-apprenticeship program gave me the school's number, and that, it just went from there. The show definitely inspired me, you know, to go after it. I was a welder for Caterpillar Tractor in the late 70s, and uh, there was a downturn in the economy. But I would hook up with uh, some guys and build houses, learned enough about the trade to get into it, and uh, worked my way up the ranks, uh, foreman, and then became a superintendent. Now, your schedule, you started here today on this floor. Yeah. I became a carpenter. And through the years, I went from carpenter to lead carpenter up to carpenter foreman. I enrolled in the carpenter's uh, training program for a superintendent. The superintendent training program is available to all journeymen and apprentices or foremen or superintendents. Uh, it's made by the Association of General Contractors. This is a, an entry level into becoming a foreman or superintendent. How eventually I came into this role was putting a, a hands-on field experience and then applying the school aspect of it and learning uh, construction management methods and techniques and then uh, fusing that all together. I did that out in uh, Las Vegas, took advantage of that. I had a lot of great teachers, past superintendents, owners and, and fellow carpenters alike. In my experience, superintendents come from a carpenter's background. Uh, they're builders who understand the process of a structure, whether it's uh, f starting in foundation work and then working your way up through the building. Knowing uh, the sequence is very important. The sky is the limit here. You can, you know, get to be a foreman, a superintendent, who knows, maybe advancing the company even further. My main goal is uh, to work my way up in their company one day. Possibly becoming a foreman at some point in time, but one day at a time. They make you feel like you belong someplace. Yeah, it was nice to get an applause from, from my brothers as I was sworn in. You know, it felt good. It made, made me feel proud to be a local member. Around here, definitely welcoming. They're always looking for new people, new, new guys to show the reins to. As an immigrant, you sometimes feel probably you don't belong somewhere. Being a part of the union definitely makes me feel like I'm, you know, a part of a brotherhood. And a nice job. I like where I'm at. I like where I'm headed. I know there's still a lot more ahead of me. I feel like I'm growing every day. There's guys that get out fresh out of high school and go to the apprenticeship. And I actually enjoy going to the training center, for example, and take, get classes there. 17 foot something. I mean, who pays you to teach you things? You start going to the classroom, you start using your skills on the field. 11 .4. Most important is definitely the benefits that comes along with being a union carpenter. Pension, the annuity, no student debt. I know people that have been in college for several years and they are working as servers. The health benefits, you know, it's, it's all top of the line. Obviously the pay, it, it gets better every year, which is always great. You get to provide, you know, for your family. I just feel a lot more fortunate being a union worker. I became a carpenter because I wanted to build a better future and be part of something bigger than myself.